As we all know, GTA 5 is such a huge game. You can do anything after completing the game. The story, uh, the single player story missions, after completing them, you can actually do anything in the game. There's so many activities to do. But despite that fact, we mod the game to make it more fun and uh, playable and do some different kind of stuff. Just put in mods and you can actually fly and jump high, uh, very high across the map. So the most common mod I think would be the object spawner mod which would let you spawn anything in the game from stunt ramp to vehicle to pets pets mean pedestrians any player in the game right uh, so that would be really useful so uh today i'm gonna show you how to install the object spawner mod for your gda 5 single player uh, version of the game so you can spawn any object anywhere in the game okay so let's begin so first thing you want to do is just check your game if it is the latest version of your game so mine is updated fully and i haven't downloaded from the steam i must say that if you have a steam version make sure you update your game if you don't have just downloaded the updated version these mods only work in the updated version of the gda 5 game so just check that out before um, following my steps the next thing you want to do is Download and install Visual C++ this thing uh, 2015 so you can get it from the official Microsoft website or it comes with the game so while you're installing the game it just auto installs and you don't have to worry about it. It's a complimentary thing with the game. So the next thing you want to do is install some things that's scripthook script v, scripthookv.net, native UI, the GDA um, multiplayer unlock all objects that's a mod and the main mod that is the object spawner it is called as the map editor mod so uh, second thing this thing works only on the single player version of the game not on the multiplayer i'm not sure about it but you can try that for yourself so first thing you want to do is open the game directory because we need that so i'm just gonna go here secondly open first we're gonna install script hook v so just go download it links are in the description don't have to worry about anything links are completely working so links are in the description just follow them as i am doing i go to script hook v bin folder paste the dll file and this dll file don't praise the native trainer because we don't need the trainer we can do that in a separate video just take them and copy them to your gdfi directory yes i want to replace them it's done we can close it now we need scripthookv.net take everything except readme and license these i don't need it just take him uh, let me just yep now just put him in here and he already done right close this we don't need this now next thing native ui simple as that we just copying and pasting it take the dll file paste it simple close we don't need that gda this thing simple as that gda unlock all objects so i have a uh, 1.1 if you don't have you can use 1.0 but you should have 1.1 that's that's the thing now you need to just paste one thing this that's an asi file just take it drag it and it's done completely we can close this now the main mod is here the map editor so what you need to do is create a folder known as scripts right you need to create a folder known as scripts if you don't have that folder in your gda5 directory you need to create one let's go like that to oh wait a minute new folder yeah name it as scripts you can do that it's easy so I don't want to do it and I'm just gonna delete it because I already have if you don't have create one open this folder scripts folder take everything right from here I've already done it I'm doing it again so just take everything right from here paste it in it and replace that's it you're done you're actually done that's so easy to do now the mod is installed I'm just gonna go into the game and see if it works or not 
and just have a little bit of fun with it yeah right I'll see you later okay so I'm at the in the game at the airport it's quite a big place to spawn objects like these it's quite a good place I just hang around there's a plane coming down there right so to uh, bring up the menu of the mod you need to press F7 yeah it says F7 here and uh, for the controller it is I think R3 plus LB I don't know what that is I'm just gonna stick to the keyboard and mouse combination just gonna press F7 there it is and if this menu comes up for you you have installed the mod successfully that means right so I'm just gonna go enter exit map editor once you've done that you can go in and out of the map like this that's quite cool holy shit I'm under the buildings under the roof okay so it says uh, there's a controls right here so I'm just gonna spawn something really good I'm gonna show you right now I, I press F yeah this is the huge list you gotta get down for oh ramps what I'm gonna do is spawn a ramp and just gonna um, jump a car ac across it so I'm just gonna place it right here maybe that's that would be straighten up and I can move around like that just to see if it's perfect or not this is quite cool oh I'm inside the building right that's a good mod that's a good uh, ramp actually and all the objects are rigid not flimsy like that so you can now actually rotate it if you want it just click on it and it should spawn uh, yeah an axis thing so it says move entity right down in the corner so if oh shit it's going down if I'm pressing Q and E it's going down and up I press W and S it just goes right and left A and D f uh, back and forth right so I'm just gonna do it like that maybe uh, in the ground a little bit just to confirm okay it's okay it's gonna press it again so if you need to change the axis you might be thinking how to roll this thing or just how to change its angle something like that you just need to press left control switch rotation it changes to yellow from red right here so that it works now if I press Q and E it's just gonna twirl a little bit W and S it's just gonna I don't know what to say that it's just gonna turn on its axis something like that but I don't wanna do it and if I press A and D it's just gonna go inside and outside look at that well, that's quite cool you can do so many things you can just go up and see from different angles like that I'm just pressing W A S D to zoom out and zoom in like that once you've done you're just gonna press F7 I'm just showing you a basic thing you have so many things to do and I'm just gonna spawn a vehicle just to get a bit of, get a vehicle to jump upon right so I'm, I pressed Y I don't know what to get tip truck it's quite slow. I don't want a plane, man. No. Okay, I'm gonna get this bike. It's gonna be cool. So you can place the bike anywhere I want. Oh, I can place it in the midair. What if it falls on me? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna place it right here. Thank you. Now I'm just gonna press F7 so that this mod is deactivated. F7, enter and exit mod. Enter again. Press F7 again. Wait a minute, what happened? Right, so are we out of the mod? It's actually backspace. I'm just gonna get on my bike. Shiny bike. Just gonna keep the radio off. Thank you. Ooh. This game is awesome. You should play it, guys, if you haven't played it. Let's just get a big, big load of speed and just jump on that ramp. You might be seeing that object is not disappearing. That is a cool thing. Okay, handbrake turn, here we go. Get him more speed, get him more speed, get him more speed. We know where to go, we know where to go. There's the ramp. I hope it's aligned properly. Oh, shit. That wasn't a big ramp. We need a bigger ramp like that. We gotta do another jump. Just for fun. 
Let's do it from here, maybe. Uh, let's try to kill ourselves. I just want to kill myself. That is awesome, right? That is absolutely awesome. So, guys, I'm just gonna end it here. This is a ramp I've created using an object spawner mod. Oh shit, I just clattered myself. That's blood on me. Right, so this is the end. Thanks for watching and drop a like if you really enjoyed this video and if it was helpful for you just drop a like just it is appreciated absolutely and subscribe for more videos like this please subscribe actually because it helps me it helps me making these kind of videos it just motivates me likes and subscribers and yeah have a nice day